All right, so we're going to start out with um, the snow globe. And we're going to also open um, the snowstorm. There we go. All right, so select all, edit, copy. Um, we're going to go back to the snow globe and do edit, paste. And now we're going to do edit, transform, scale. All right, so um, so what we're going to do is we're going to hide this top layer. We're going to go to the bottom layer. And we're going to do select subject. And then we're going to hide the bottom layer, click back into the top layer, unhide it. And we're going to do select inverse. And then you just hit the delete key on your keyboard and it gets rid of the extra. So select, deselect, and you should have this perfect circle, but it looks very flat. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the, um, we could change it to overlay, okay? That's what we're gonna use. Um, and next we're gonna go back here, we're gonna open Pick this picture of a snowman, open, and now we're going to do select subject, edit, copy. We're going to go back to the snow globe, and underneath the snow, we're going to do edit, paste, and edit, transform, scale. You can see how it looks like it's in back of the snow, but it still looks very flat, like it's not really inside the snow globe. So we're going to change the um, blending mode to overlay, and now it looks like it's inside the snow globe. So I don't want to put myself into this snow globe, so I'm going to open uh, this image of myself and my daughter, and I need to cut myself out. So I'm going to do select subject again, and usually it does a pretty good job, but you see how it added the leaves to the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this magnifying glass, and I'm going to zoom in here, and I'm going to fix that. So let me just go to, it's the fourth tool down from the top. If you click and hold, you'll see the quick selection tool. And I'm going to hit minus or subtract. And you can actually modify the number of pixels it subtracts. And you can, there's plus and there's minus. There's plus to add to the number of pixels you want to select and minus to so, um, subtract. So in this case, we're subtracting. So I'm getting rid of the leaves. You just click and drag your mouse over the leaves and it should subtract them. Now, it subtracted too much, so I'm going to modify the number, and I'm going to add to put my daughter's feet back in, because otherwise it looks like she's got no feet. So let me add her feet back in. OK, good enough. And now I'm going to subtract so I can get rid of the leaves underneath my feet. And it looks like it cut a little bit of my foot off, so I'll add. And you see how I put it to just a few pixels so that I'm not adding too much. And there we go. Okay, and that looks good. And now I'm going to just take this hand and scroll through to see if there's anything else that's messed up. And it looks like everything's good. Uh, looks like there's some extra stuff up here. So back to the quick select tool, back to minus. And let me get that extra light stuff out from above my hair. Okay, so now I've got that. Now I'm going to just do edit, copy, and 
I'm going to go back to my snow globe and just above the just above the snowman I'm going to do edit paste and again it's too big edit transform scale yo I got you with NFT. Uh, and they sent you something off. And we'll have to put your main office. Yeah. Oh, okay. She has a gem. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that's fine. She'll be here more time. I get it. I get right. it. So let me make this nice yeah. and small. Well, I think so it's inside the snow globe. Well, that'd be nice. That's going to be now. Oh, that'd be great. That's like, you know, new stuff. But whatever. <laughs> that's the next step. We'll worry about that later. All right, uh, we'll and here. let's see. Right. Check that. Now, the one thing I've noticed is that it's too dark. So, I'm going to just do edit. I'll do image adjustments, exposure. Um, so, this was a photo taken at night. The rest of the photo was taken during the day, so it doesn't really match. I'm going to make the exposure a little lighter. Okay. And then... Hold the power button for five seconds straight. And then um, I'm going to go to the blending modes. I'm going to turn it to overlay. And the other thing that I need to do is I'll just move it around. Uh, if you find that you're moving things that you don't want to move, layers you don't want to move, you just click on them and block them. So here we go. I'm going to move myself around. Uh, there. I'm going to move the, and then move the snowman over, block that, I'll move the, myself over, unlock it, move myself over, I'm going to use the eraser to erase my feet, now the eraser if you click on one spot and hold the shift key and click on another spot, it'll erase in a straight line. So I got the feet erased. Let me just move uh, my, self, my feet downward a little bit. Let's see. Click here. Hold the shift key. Click here. There we go. Um, and that's it. That's my, uh, that's my uh, snow globe. The only other thing that I might want to do is um, I might want to go to Google and find uh, um, just a picture of some snow, just some plain snow. So I'll go to images. There we go. All right, this is good. I'm just going to open image in new tab. If there's a little magnifying glass with a plus sign, hit the plus sign. Save image as. Um, save it to my downloads. I'm going to go to photograph. Here we go. Open it. Okay. All right, so. I'm going to, there's no real subject here, so you can't do select subject, but if you take the uh, quick select tool and you make it a little larger, make it like 30, okay, you can drag it over the snow and it will just select the snow. So it selected everything. Now I'm going to go to the, sorry, I'm going to go to the minus, subtract. And you see how if I drag it over the sky, it'll deselect the sky. Okay, so now it just has the front hills. I'm going to do edit, copy. Now I go back here to my um, snow globe. And I'll do, I'm going to go down to the background layer. I'm going to do edit, paste. And it's huge, so edit transform scale.
All right. Okay, so now I'm going to hit the check mark. I'm going to hide all these other layers, and I just want the part that's going to be in the snow globe. So let me hide this. I'm going to do select subject. Okay, and then I'm going to go up to the snow layer and select inverse and delete. Okay. And now I'm going to have to do some erasing. So here's my eraser. Um, I'm just going to click here. Select, deselect. I'm just going to go into the snow layer. I'm going to click here. Hit the shift key. Click here. And then just erase everything below it. So hitting the shift key allows me to yes, right. erase 20. in a so straight have, line. No, you guys have like 12 days. 12 days to get the first okay. project. So now let's see done. if we can change this from normal awesome. to overlay. And overlay doesn't really seem to be cutting it. So I'm going to go to luminosity. And then I'm going to change the opacity make it a lot lighter. All right, and now, okay, I'm going to take the eraser and I'll just erase inside here. So it looks like our legs or the snowman are in front of the, the hill of snow. Okay, and now I have my finished snow globe and you just have to export it as a PNG. So that's the tutorial on how to create uh, uh, Photoshop where you feel like you're stuck inside a snow globe. We'll just save it and export it as a PNG.